I started doing community work when I was in high school. My dad and I used to volunteer with Habitat for Humanity, building houses for the community in Milwaukee. This sparked my interest in community work. At this point in my life, I had just become fascinated with hearing and sharing stories. I was beginning to learn more about my parents' lives in their home countries and their journeys to immigrating to the States and becoming citizens. I grew very passionate about storytelling and learning about the experiences of people from different backgrounds. Habitat for Humanity became a really wonderful place for me to hear the stories of other volunteers, community members, and employees. From here, my passion for exploring and hearing the stories of people around the world grew as I traveled to Cuba and Peru in high school. My dream of becoming a photojournalist began here. I wanted to tell people's stories visually and help spread awareness of the issues that were happening globally in a way that was easy to understand and empathize with. On my trip to Cuba, I created my own independent study project where I published a photojournalistic essay book discussing how the U.S. embargo affected the culture and people of Cuba. This research project led me to my interest in studying anthropology at university. Once at school, I realized that simply majoring in anthropology did not allow me to hone my storytelling and artistic skills. So my advisor pushed me to the Individualized Studies program, where I was able to design my major. By doing this, I was able to take many other classes from different departments, which helped me gain exponentially more knowledge about systems of oppression, privilege, social justice, imperialism, liberation, and how to make a real positive change in a community. I realized how rooted in white saviorism and colonialism my original dream job was. Throughout my journey through college, I learned how I could alter my path to use my passions for art and storytelling to do good. My junior year, I did a study abroad program in Cape Town, South Africa, studying solidarity and community-led change. This program taught me so much about community work and highlighted so many of the issues that service organizations, volunteer programs, and charity work had. Having had initially wanting to go into the Peace Corps after college, I completely rethought my career and post-grad path, as well as my involvement in community work. Right after this program, I enrolled in the HECUA program, Making Media, Making Change. Here, I learned more about social change, solidarity, and how to create media in a way that makes a positive change in the community. During this semester, I had the opportunity to collaborate with peers, teachers, and the community in a way that radicalized my understanding of the world and my part in it. This semester was cut short by COVID, but in a way enhanced my experience of community building. I further saw the importance of having a community and how specifically imperative for marginalized groups it is. Through my college career, I volunteered through various organizations like Clues, Global Minnesota, Building Bridges, and SPNN. These experiences were similar to my first community experience at Habitat for Humanity. I was able to work together with the community I was helping, interact with them, and see the change that I, alongside of the community, was making. The summer came quickly and so did the uprising against racial injustice. This moment was paramount to solidifying my radicalization and passion for social justice, representation, and how art can affect social change. I decided to start an art and literary magazine for people marginalized by their gender, to create a community around people telling their own stories and uplifting their own voices through creativity. This became a place for other artists to express themselves, talk about difficult topics, and share their work. My ISEP is an extension of this passion project. As a resource for this community to find solidarity in the art and writing of others, and a place for their voices to be heard, I wanted to further listen to the stories of these artists. My ISEP is a podcast interviewing a handful of artists from the magazine to further promote them, learn more about their work, and allow them to share their stories. This magazine is something I would love to continue in the future, possibly pursue as a career path. I'm now passionate about representation in the media and creating media in a way that allows people to tell their own stories instead of someone else telling their stories for them. I want to create art that empowers people to share their experiences, uplifts their stories, and promotes justice and liberation. 